So now that we've talked about our options under the font group in the home tab of the ribbon, let's talk about the options in the alignment group, which is right next to it. So the alignment group allows us to change the way the information is positioned within the cells or rows or columns, however we want to designate that. Let me give you a couple examples. If we come down here to cell D4, I'm going to click and drag to D9. That way I've highlighted this entire range. And now that I have the range highlighted, I can change the positioning of the information within each of these cells all at once. So I'm going to come up here to the Alignment tab, and I've got several different options. If you hover over them, it gives you a preview of what that will do. So I'm going to click on Align Text Right. And what that does is it just aligns the text nicely to the right of the column. Now let's say, for instance, though, that the dates, I don't like the way that there's so much spacing in here. There's too much of a gap. So I'm going to highlight that whole range, and instead I'll click on Center. So that centers it within the column. Now those two are very common. You'll use left, right, and center very often. Another one you might use sometimes is, say I have a cell like this, if I'm going to expand row 9. I've got a group of cells where there's just a lot of gap above it. Well, I'm going to click and drag to highlight that whole row. and We can use the uh, options up here about where to align it in the top, middle, or bottom. You can see by default it's at the bottom of the cell, but if I click on middle, that brings it up to the middle of the cell. And sometimes that gives it a nice look if we're trying to give a little bit of space in between it for some reason. Now I actually want that at the bottom, so I'm going to undo that and change it back to bottom. And then we can resize our row like we did before by coming down to the bottom and double clicking. And that auto fit it back to what we wanted it to be from before. So let me show you another option though, and the reason why I did that is I want to show you how to use wrap text. So let's say that Gregory actually has two names. So he's got a middle name and a last name. So we'll do Gregory Employee Associate. I'm just using generic names. So we've got Gregory Employee Associate, and we can see that it's cut off. Now instead of expanding the column, which I could do, which unfortunately has this big gap, so I don't really want to do that. Instead, I want to use the wrap text feature to just have Gregory's cell uh, show the additional information that he has. So I've got Gregory highlighted here, and I'm going to come down and click on wrap text. What that does is that expands the size of my row so that it fits all the information in one cell. So it's important to realize that I have not created another row, another row and I have not created a new cell. Instead, all I've done is change the size of the cell automatically so that it fits all of the information. So if I continue to add additional information, it would continue to add additional size to that cell, but it does not create new rows. So that's sometimes uh, important if you've got just maybe one or two values that are longer than the rest of the values and you want to keep the width of your column consistent. A lot of times we use wrap text for that. Now the final option I want to show you from the alignment section is the merge and center. Now what that's going to do is it's going to take this whole range of cells if I want it to. I'm going to highlight that range of cells and click on merge and center. What that does is it takes that whole range and makes it into one cell. So now if I click here at F, I'm only in cell B2. If I click in cell B2, I have B2. Or if I click in cell what I would think would be C2, it's still B2. The reason for that is I've merged all of these cells together into one cell. So if I start typing table title, now I've got a table title that's centered across my entire table. So I don't have to worry when I move the size of my columns around or anything like that. It's going to stay centered because it's a merged cell across the entire table. So it's handy for that. You can also use it to space out some rows and things like that, but uh, a lot of times we use it just for uh, a title across the top of the table. Uh, in the next section, we'll talk about how we can change some of the formats of the information within our table, uh, and we'll use the number group that we see here in the ribbon still under the Home tab.